I'm sure you've seen the news about the big beautiful bill. The Senate has finally held a vote and passed President Trump's so-called one big beautiful bill. One big beautiful bill. This bill is going to inject $150 billion into the GovTech space. So what does that mean for you? The big beautiful bill just might be the best thing to ever happen to the GovTech industry. And it's about to create thousands of high paying GovTech jobs. And most people don't even know what's happening. And after 16 years in this space, I've never seen anything like it. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what the big beautiful bill is, what it means for you and your career, and most importantly, how you can position yourself to land one of these GovTech roles that's going to come out from this big beautiful bill. The big beautiful bill is going to inject $150 billion into defense enhancement, covering naval shipbuilding, missile defense, nuclear force modernization, cyber and unmanned technologies, and Indo-Pacific security. Overall, this bill is going to bring a lot of opportunity into the GovTech space because mostly what the government wants to do is modernize its technology. Companies like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, Raytheon, General Dynamics, Palantir, and Dural, and even more are going to see so many new contracts being awarded to them because of this bill. If you want to take advantage of the money that's flowing into this industry right now, here are the careers that you should definitely be focusing on. Cybersecurity is one of the most important careers that you could be focusing on right now because the most important things for the government to do is keep their information safe. So if you're a cybersecurity professional, that is literally what you do on your day to day is keep information safe from the attackers. To get into cybersecurity roles, if you have no experience whatsoever, I highly recommend that you first start out with entry level IT roles like help desk, IT support, IT technician, system administration, and even data center technician roles. To get into these roles, what you're going to want to do is get your Security Plus certification, work these roles for six to eight months and then make the transition into cybersecurity. While you're working your first entry level IT role, that's where you can focus on building up your cybersecurity knowledge. You can shadow other professionals at your job. You can also work on getting more certifications and you can do hands-on labs. So then that way, when it's time for you to make your job hop into cybersecurity, you're completely ready to go and you can take advantage of all of this cybersecurity contracts that are being awarded right now. Cloud infrastructure and software development of these large government systems is extremely important now as well. So if you focus on cloud roles like cloud administration, cloud engineering, and even DevOps roles, you're going to be putting yourself in a great position to take advantage of all of this money that's flowing into the industry. With all of these new systems, system engineering roles are in demand as well. Because there's a lot of new emerging technologies coming out, they need smart professionals that are going to be able to engineer these systems to operational status. These companies need system engineers with technical backgrounds to help bring these big government systems to reality over the next five to 10 years. So if you focus on system engineering skills and technical skills, you can put yourself in position to get into these roles as well. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in me putting out a full GovTech roadmap video, breaking down all of the careers, all of the certifications that you need and skills that you need because it's so many different careers in GovTech, it would be an hour long video and I'll definitely make it for you if you want me to. But I wanna keep this video focus on the big beautiful bill and how you can immediately take action from it. So over the next six to 12 months, you will see a huge hiring spree coming from these companies that are going to be benefiting from these jobs. Every day I'm checking for roles on clearancejobs.com and I'm seeing a lot of different government contractor companies that are posting new roles because they have so many new roles that are becoming available from these new contracts that are going to be awarded. And if you don't believe me, you can go to defense.gov and look at all of the contracts that are being awarded every single day. On July 10th, Global Pacific Design Builders LLC based out of Guam was awarded a $300 million contract. On July 8th, CFM International based out of Ohio was awarded a $2.8 billion contract for the F-108 engine surprise. This is a logistics contract. On July 3rd, Boeing was awarded a $2.8 billion contract for the Evolve Strategic Satellite Communication Space Development and Production. On July 1st, First, Lockheed Martin was awarded a $2.9 billion contract to help continue the development of the Aegis Combat System Engineering System. And this is major. I'm telling you, there are billions of dollars that are flowing into this industry. You just have to put yourself in the right position. So as more contracts are being awarded, you'll have prime government contractors that are looking to hire technical professionals like you. And you'll also have subprime contractors that will need to help these prime contractors get the work done. So this is a cascading effect 
of more and more work that is going to become available every single day. So don't be surprised if you keep seeing new people land jobs. Every single day, I have new students that are sending me screenshots of new jobs that are sponsoring them clearances. And these aren't low paying jobs either. These jobs are paying $75,000 and more per year, and they don't have any experience whatsoever. So with all this new money flowing into the industry, salaries will start to increase because there are less and less people that have the clearances and have the right certifications to work in this industry. And that is where the big opportunity is. If you want my help landing one of these GovTech roles, click the link in the description below if you want to apply to work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you land your first GovTech role. And the best thing is, is that there's opportunities for every level of people in their career, whether you're entry level, mid-level, or senior level, they are hiring non-stop right now. So as I've already talked about the entry level opportunities that are available, when it comes to mid and senior level engineers, they are at dire need for technical professionals that have skills in either cybersecurity, cloud, software development, system engineering, even data engineering, and more. The certifications that you can get to help bring in high six-figure salaries in the GovTech industry are going to be the CYSA Plus certification, the CAS certification, also the CISM certification, which is more of a mix between cybersecurity and project management, the CISSP certification, and the PMP certification for people who are technical project managers. And if you don't already have a government security clearance, you can easily get a government security clearance just by going on to clearancejobs.com and searching ability to obtain. This will show you all the jobs that are sponsoring clearances. And once you're able to get a government security clearance, this opens you up to very high six-figure tech roles within the GovTech space. I've seen infrastructure engineer roles paying anywhere from $250,000 to $300,000 a year because they have their top secret SCI, CI polygraph clearance, or full scope polygraph clearance. Once you get into this realm of GovTech and you're one of the few tech professionals with a government security clearance, it unlocks an entire new world for you. The big beautiful bill is the biggest opportunity in GovTech that most of us will ever see in our careers. $150 billion over 10 years means stable, high paying opportunities for thousands of GovTech professionals at every single level. But the window of opportunity for landing these positions won't stay open forever. And that's exactly why I'm offering you the chance to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll help you understand how you can capitalize on these huge opportunities and how you can get the right certifications and technical skills. So that way you can land these jobs before everybody else catches on. To apply to work with me, just click the first link in the description below and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.